Kroger wants to trace the impact of its retail media network on and the environment. Oh hmm. According to Chain Store Age, Kroger Precision Marketing, the retail media business unit of Kroger, will become the first retail media network to measure carbon emissions through a collaboration with supply chain emissions measurement and reduction specialist Scope 3. Kroger will use Scope 3's open source methodology and emissions model to measure the carbon impact by applying Kroger's audience data to offsite media campaigns. The idea being that advertisers should understand the impact of wasted online ad impressions. David, curious, do you think this is a real thing that brands care about, sustainable retail media, or do you think this is just PR hype? PR hype. I think it's a really, I, I think it's a total stretch. I think really? it's a total stretch. So, oh, wow. All the right. concept of being environmentally friendly and you know having offset carbon footprint is super important but i think that's more you know in the physical manifestation of products so supply chain um if we're thinking or you know in store actual experience and inventory if we're talking about digital advertising and media and translating that to high emission inventory I think it's a total stretch. Right. I think like I, I think they're they're shooting for the moon on this one. Talking about the moon, this is like when you know brands uh send their product to space. Like why? <laughs> it's you know, right. it's a PR play. So so like I'm all for mitigating ad impressions. Like I com completely agree. I just don't like that is why are we wasting spend on, you know, that's a lot of cost and that's a lot of time and efficiency if we understand that those impressions aren't driving sales. But I don't think translating that to the actual environment or carbon footprint works. And then they're talking about how they're comparing their carbon footprint to other retail medias. And as a uh, brand, I would focus more on, you know, you know, demographics you know what's your the amount your size of opportunity with impressions with your traffic you know with your cpc and then ultimately conversion then right. your uh your environmental impact there because i think it's 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 difficult to really right your return on ad spend i mean that's what you'd be focused yeah. on right? i mean it's yeah like all, I mean, like, it's not yeah. you know return on ad spend to environmental impact i think that's Right. Yeah, that's what it, not return the, on ad sustainability. Right. No, I mean, yeah. The, yeah. But there are some interesting angles here too. But like, um, but that is the way the article couched it. It was like basically like telling you if you're making bad investments with your media spend, right? That's essentially what it was. It was saying it was another way of saying that. So, and what do you think though? You you don't like this at all? Do I you? think whatever the award is for public relations, the. Kroger Precision Marketing's team should win that a thousand times over. Yeah, I think all this that is... insight that they found. Oh yeah. my yeah. God. I mean, yeah, great. This is giving, this gives Kroger a bullet to put on their, how we're sustainable right. site of their, or part of their website. It gives every brand that's participating. All those goals in that it. everyone has, those but, targets. Yeah, like they've got yeah. the, they've got, yeah. they those worked targets by this 2035. hard. Does this impact what, what really comes down to for me, does this impact my choice as a Kroger consumer of going to Kroger over another retailer? Absolutely not. Is this going to make an impact in the sustainability that I look for as a consumer? No, no one cares about this. I really Does think it impact your decision as a CPG brand of where to place your money? It sounds like Dave says no. What no, about you? Not at no. All. Like it's it all comes down to money. This is like a, such a BS thing. I can't. Interesting. I, can't I might go the other way on this on you guys. But Truett, what do you think first before jump in here? I disagree. Unfortunately, I think it's it, consumers don't care about it. I would be shocked if brands care about it. Um, if there's other uses for it in terms of PR, et cetera, go for it. But uh, given you know retail media is still a you know pretty in its nascency in terms of just yeah. the stage, yeah. uh, and I would focus on driving return first and making sure that there's actually growth in the platforms that are being used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I don't disagree with anything you three said, but I think there's a unique angle here that I think is quite fascinating from like the merchandising marketing standpoint of like to of us. running Kroger's media network. Like in in a lot of ways, it creates the opportunity for a new metric to come out of this. Like, so like just like absolute waste, right? And so like I don't know how you do that, but like let's say it's like on a score of 100, right? And so if I tell a CPG that your your ad spend was 19 out of 100 in environmental waste, right? Like 
that's going to have an impact on people. And like that could on get what out people. I, well, I think it's going to, well, what if I was 95 out of a hundred on driving sales there though? <laughs> yeah. So, right. Like, well, they probably are correlated though. Right. So that's the thing. Like if it's about wasted ad spend and inefficient ad spend, they're probably correlated and it calls the CPGs onto the carpet if they're not performing well. And so I think that could have an impact on how people view this over time. But anyway, just you're, throwing you're, that little wrinkle in there. But, you're, you know, you're I, I can see that that's not a very strong point. So I will concede. You're you're floating on the raft with Jack outside of the Titanic. You're floating on the board. This is your- I'm left, off the board then. You're off yeah, the board. Right. This I'm is the board. 